Hi everyone, I'm Bob Gailey, and on behalf of Challenge Athletes Foundation and OSER, I welcome you to our program. We have Gil, Sarah, and Eric who are going to share a little bit in the ideas of stretching, balance, and agility activities to get you back into sport. I know for many of us, we've been home, we want to get out, we want to do the things that we enjoy, and this program is designed to do that. The thing is to go slow, make sure that you monitor your physical capabilities and your health as you do these things, but we hope to see you real, real soon back at the CAF OSA Running Clinics, and we hope this program can make a difference. Hi, I'm Sarah Reinertsen and I'd like to show you a couple stretches that can help uh, open up those hips and those hamstrings. So I'll start with a hip stretch that I like to do. So come down on the floor, bring your legs out in front of you, and then you're gonna take one of your legs, I'm gonna start with my right leg, and I'm gonna bend my knee up to my chest. That is, you have a knee. If you don't have a knee and you just have a stump, that's okay. Bring your stump up to your chest and then take your leg, or in this case, my right knee, using my left hand, I'm going to take my, my knee and bring it across my body. And I'd like my knee, I want to say hello to my shoulder. Try to bring it up to your shoulder if you can. Hold that stretch for five. One, two, three, four, Five. I'm super tight, so five is about all I want to do. You want to back it off, relax a little bit. When you've taken a breath, I want you to re-engage with that stretch. Bring that knee back over. Say hello to your shoulder. Hold that stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Back it off, and we'll do it a third time. Deep breath, bring that knee over, and one, two, three, four, five, and release. Then we're going to stretch the opposite leg. So come back down on the mat, bend the other leg if you can. If you have a stump, that's okay. You can just grab it by the stump, and then bring your leg or your knee, whatever you've got, bring it across your body. And this time, say hello to the other shoulder. Bring that left knee up to your right shoulder. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, and back that off. And re-engage with that stretch. Let's count down again. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Do, let's do it a third time. Re-engage with that stretch. Take it a little deeper. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can repeat that stretch on each side. I like to do about three to five reps on each side, um, and that will stretch out your hips. And I'm going to show you now a hamstring exercise. So let's stay on the ground and bring your feet out in front of you. Then you're going to take one of your legs and bend your knee. Make a number four. And we're going to stretch our hamstring. So I'm going to start with my prosthetic side. And basically you're just going to, if you can, try to grab your foot and lean forward and stretch that hamstring. You're gonna hold that stretch for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then relax a moment, and then engage again in that stretch. Try to reach a little further if you can. Stretch that hamstring one more time. One, two, three, four. And release. And I like to do this three to five times on this side. And then you're going to release your legs and then fold the opposite knee. And I notice I'm definitely tighter on this side than on my prosthetic side. So you might not fold as evenly on each side. 
But when you're in place, then come forward, fold your body, and stretch that hamstring. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And release. And let's fold over again and stretch out that hamstring. Here we go. I'm going to try to take it just a little bit deeper. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. And just by doing that simple stretch on each side, you stretch out those hamstrings, which certainly helps when you've been sitting at your desk all day. For this stretch, I'm going to show you how to get your hip flexors. So for this one, I actually brought a tool and it's basically just a yoga strap. Um, and I use this to help modify the hip flexor stretch. Um, so you can do this at home too. And if you don't have a yoga strap, that's okay. You can use a belt. So a belt also works. I have one here so I can show you how it works with either, either device. So. Um, so for this stretch, I'm actually going to take the strap and put it on my prosthetic right now. I'm going to take it over the foot and have it ready, just kind of by the ankle. Don't make, need to make it super tight, but it's ready there for when we do our stretch. So now we're going to do the hip flexors. So I'm going to lay on my mat and I'm going to keep my one leg extended. And then on this top leg, I'm going to fold it back. And this is why I have my strap, because I can't always grab that so well. And so this strap kind of helps me grab that leg, kind of hold it behind, and I can stretch that hip flexor. Just helps me get that stretch a little deeper, and I uh, hold that stretch for five, four, three, two, one. And then I release, kind of relax. You can put your head down. Take a deep breath, and then we're going to stretch that hip flexor again. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And let's do the third time. One, two, three, four, five. And release. Now we're going to do the opposite side. So if you need to, you can take your strap and put it on your opposite foot. Um, I can actually grab my foot, so I don't actually need it, but I'm gonna put it on here so you can see the modification. You can see both styles. So we'll put the strap around my foot. It's there if I need it. Now let's get to the opposite side. So we're gonna fold my leg back. If you can grab your foot, you can do it this way. If not, you can also use the strap. So, so I'm going to show you the modification. I'm holding it back. Now with that hip flexor, getting a really good stretch. And I'm going to hold that now for five, four, three, two, one. And relax, release. And I'm going to show you now without the strap. Holding that back, stretching that hip flexor. Five, four, three, two, one and relax and again grabbing that foot stretching that hip flexor one two three four five stretch that leg out and you can repeat that motion on each side three to five times and keep those hips nice and flexible oh my name is Gil, and I'm a 70-year-old above knee amputee, and I'm going to demonstrate a few simple exercises that you can do at home to add strength and balance to your everyday life. Many amputees rely too heavily on their sound side limb. The object of these exercises is to strengthen the prosthetic side so that both limbs can share the workload more equally. I'd like to demonstrate uh, another exercise for you that will actually work on the muscles on the inner thighs or the adductor muscles. And it's a two-part exercise where you first place your hands just below your knees and you push down to stretch, putting pressure and stretching your legs this direction, pushing downward. 
After that, what you want to do is use the muscles to try to raise your legs and resist with your hands. So you're pushing this direction with your muscles, pushing back with your hands. You want to do this for 10 seconds in each direction, 10 seconds of stretching and 10 seconds of resisting. Do this three to five times. You can hold on to a chair if you need to. You don't have to, it depends on your level of strength. But what you want to do is place your feet a little bit apart and keep your weight equally on both feet. And then you need to squat down and consciously use the muscles in your prosthetic side to lift your weight back up. And you can do this exercise 10 to 20 times and you'll get to a point when you're stronger that you don't need a chair and you can go down pretty low and then you just push with your prosthetic side and straighten yourself back up. So you do that 10 to 20 times a day and you will gain strength. Now we're gonna use our squatting exercise motion to help us sit down safely into a chair and spread the load between our sound side and our prosthetic side. So what we're gonna do when we start out, you can put some pillows on there so that you don't have to sit down quite so far and then you're gonna use a second chair just to help you balance. And we don't want you to use that to use your arms to push yourself up. It's just kind of to help you maintain balance. So then you're gonna put your feet slightly apart and you're gonna put equal weight on your sound side and your prosthetic side. And then you're going to sit down in your chair and use the muscles in your prosthetic side to help slow your descent. And when you get back up, you're going to consciously use the, the muscles inside your prosthetic to lift you back out of the chair like this. Okay, so I'm pushing hard against my socket right now when I do that. So you can resist going down and then you use those muscles to help you get back up. Some people may have a little bit of difficulty getting the knee to break properly because the ankle doesn't bend. A little trick is that you can, you can put a cloth under the heel of the prosthetic side like this, which helps you to get the knee to bend. And if you do that, then you're gonna sit down and again, consciously push with this side to get back up again, okay? And as you get stronger, as your prosthetic side gets stronger, you can then lose a pillow and then you're gonna sit down a little further. Again, equal, equal weight, sit down, and as you get up, you're gonna push with this side and this side together, like this. And that helps you to get up out of a chair. So now I'm gonna demonstrate a little exercise that will help you with your balance, especially balancing on your prosthetic limb. What you need to do this is a chair or something to, to, to kind of stabilize yourself because it's pretty hard to stand on your prosthetic side without help. And you need a ball and it can be a tennis ball. This is a little bigger than a tennis ball or even a, a little bit bigger ball. But uh, what you do is you stand, put your weight on your prosthetic limb. You can hold on to your chair, try not to rely too much on it. Put your foot on the ball and do 10 to 20 times forward and back with the ball. And then 10 to 20 times side to side with the ball. And I can already feel the muscles in my socket burning from this. It seems real simple, but you will be amazed at how much work you have to do to do this. Then you can turn in a circle clockwise, this way, 10 to 20. Turn it the other way counterclockwise, 10 to 20. And by the time you're through, you will feel some heat in your socket. It's an amazing exercise. Hello, my name is Eric, and I'm happy to, to run us through some agility exercises today. We do these agility exercises in order to build strength, to maintain strength, to build and develop uh, coordination to get us used to being in our socket. So the first exercise that we're going to do, you need to find a, a step. I found this step that I have outside. You can find a step inside or if you have a stool, use something like that. How we're going to do is you're going to get at the base of that step and you're going to step up. And once you're up, go back down. Now we're going to use the other foot so we can use both sides and we're going to continue to go. One step up, one step down. 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 All right, after you do that and you're comfortable with it, you can do a set of 20 seconds or 30 seconds or, some, or multiple sets 
uh, you could do a more advanced one. If you're ready for it, this advanced one, it helps to us develop some more rhythm using the alternate legs and gets us used to a little bit more pressure in, in our prosthetic socket. Uh, it's going to look like this. A little bit more challenging, but definitely worth it. All right, for our second exercise, it's gonna be a lot like that first one, the step up, step down. Uh, this time we're gonna do it laterally, side to side. And what we need for this one is a stool or a step, something, that, that, something like this, something is sturdy enough to hold you. I have this stool. Uh, and what we're gonna be doing is then doing this step up, step down, establishing a rhythm. But we're gonna get on one side of it, and we're going to begin step up step down step up step down step up step down establish the rhythm step up step down all right once we're comfortable with that we can begin to speed it up a little bit just make sure you're comfortable with that but it's going to look a little bit more like this the second one all right our next drill our next drill again it's gonna be a lateral drill it's gonna it's called braiding or or the karaoke uh, again this is good for developing rhythm for um, developing strength coordination uh, getting pressure in our socket it's a good one if you've never done this before it may be a little bit challenging at first to get it down but once you get it down it's good and you do it consistently it's easy so it's gonna look like this front behind in 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 front behind all right it wasn't so bad all right next drill it's going to be again laterally side to side and uh, we're going to be working on strength, stability, coordination, again, pressure in our socket. And uh, what we could do is when we're, when we're pushing off, going side to side, you can really engage uh, your glutes and, and your leg muscles. And when you're with, on your prosthetic side, not only that, but, but we're going to be on our toes a little bit. And, you, and I get to, to, to really push off and use that carbon so you get some push off. But we're just going to be side to side in between these cups here. It's going to look a lot like this.